I'm always getting this question from you guys. Pedro, you frequently use the two minute time frame to trade and I don't have it on my MetaTrader 4 platform. Any tip to help me? Yes, I finally have a solution for custom time frames. M2, M3, M4, 2 hour, 3 hour, 8 hours and so on. And thank you for your question Elvis, good to finally know that you're still alive and that you're a trader. Hi everyone, I'm Pedro and today we're going to learn how to add custom timeframes to your MT4 platform. Step number one, you go to the FX Blue website and you download the FX Blue tick charts for MT4. Don't rush to install and configure it by yourself before watching the whole video because there are a few things that you need to know first or you may struggle a bit before putting it to work properly. The download link is in the description of the video and after downloading just install the software. It's an executable file and it will just ask you for the MT4 platform where you want to install the software. You select it and it's done. Step number two, on your MetaTrader 4 platform, you go to the view menu and you want to open the navigator or you just hit Ctrl N. And this window should appear on your left side. Next, you want to go to the Expert Advisors menu here and you want to expand it. And the FX Blue Custom Timeframe Generator should be here. If it's not here, you can just right click the Expert Advisors and hit Refresh or eventually you can restart your MetaTrader 4 platform and it should appear here. Step number three, let's open a chart now with the symbol where we want to create our custom time frame. On this example, I'm using US 30. Now, one important thing guys, you want to have your M1 time frame selected. You don't want to have M5 or M15 or any other. You want to have the one minute because the custom time frames will be built based on the one minute history. Step 4. You drag the FX Blue custom time frame generator to your chart and this window should pop up. So now let's configure this. Step number 5. Now we want to configure the first line of the inputs. So there's an option called bar period seconds and here you will want to type the number of seconds that you want on every candle. For example, for a 2 minute time frame, you want to type 120 seconds. For a 3 minute time frame, you want to type 180 seconds. I personally like to sculpt low time frames, M1 and M2, and that's why I'm focusing more on those ones. But you can customize, for example, a 2 hour time frame. Just calculate how many seconds there are in 2 hours and you get 7200 seconds. So this would be the input that you would use for a two hour time frame and the same for any other time frame. And by the way, if you want to learn how I sculpt the one minute and the two minute and other low time frames, just check the six day free trading course from my website. The link is in the description of this video. Step number six. Now let's look at show as offline period. And this is where we are going to set the name for our time frame. By default, it's 10, 10, 10, 0, 1, 0, but you can choose wherever you want. You can only put numbers here. So since we are creating the two minute time frame, I'm just going to put a two here. Step number seven. Let's go to the create history input and you want to set this to be true. Otherwise, it will only create the custom time frame candles based on the ticks that the platform will receive after you open the platform and your past history will be blank. So if you want to fill your past history, you must set the create history input to true. Step number eight, we go to the common tab and here we want to make sure that the allow DLL import is selected. And now we are good to go and you can click the OK button. Notice that now we have instructions on our chart. We have the symbol and the time frame that we just created, US 30 and the 2 minute. And then we have the instructions to open the chart. So this is step number eight. Open the custom time frame chart. To open the chart, we go to file, 
open offline. And guys, this is called offline, but the chart will update in real time with every new tick. So don't worry about that. So now let's just find the chart, the US 30 M2. It's here, double click to enable and click open. And voila, now we have our two minute time frame on US 30 and moving. But guys, we are not finished. Two more things that you need to know to stay away from trouble when using this generator. You can't ever close this one minute chart where you added the software. Otherwise, the custom time frame will stop ticking. So this one minute chart where you have the software is sending information to the two minute offline chart. So if you close this, this will stop updating. You can minimize it. There is no problem about that. And another possible issue that you may have is when you close and you reopen your platform, you may get a gap on your custom time frame history. You may have some candles missing or you may have a gap somewhere. And to fix it, you need to refresh the chart where you added the software. So we go to our original chart, the M1, where we added the expert advisor. And we can simply just, for example, switch the time frame to M5 and then go to M1 again. And eventually this may not be enough. And in that case, you also want to go to the custom time frame chart. You right click and then you just click refresh. And if you had a gap, the gap should be filled and the history should have all the candles that were missing. Let me know in the comments if this is working for you or if you got any trouble. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to also smash that like button and subscribe to my channel if you didn't yet. Thanks for watching and see you again on my next video.